Hello everyone and welcome to day four of my advent series. Okay, let's have a look what's in the box today. Ah, it's a Dyson carbon fibre soft dusting brush. Well, I think I'll take a trip back in my time machine, back to the summer and back to revisit my mum's previous house. And we'll take this Dyson carbon fibre soft dusting brush for a test drive. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be looking at the Dyson Carbon Fibre Soft Dusting Brush Accessory. This uh, cleaning tool has anti-static filaments that gently remove dust and allergens from hard surfaces. And it's compatible with all Dyson machines from the DC-19 onwards, including the latest Kinetic Big Ball vacuums, but it's not, for some reason, suitable for the Dyson cordless machines. So here's the tool out of the box. As you can see, it's got very soft carbon fibre filaments in the centre and around the edge of the nozzle it's got a plush velour type finish. This actually moves slightly and it's got Dyson's click fitting. I'm going to be using this with a Dyson small ball vacuum but as I said, if you've got a Dyson DC-19 onwards, it should fit to your machine. I'll put further details underneath to show you which Dyson it's suitable for. But always check before buying any Dyson accessory just to make sure it's compatible. It should be compatible with the majority of Dyson cleaners. If not, you may be able to use an adapter on this end. Right then, I'm first going to see how the Dyson carbon fibre dusting tool copes with cleaning the screen of my TV and hopefully the surface around it. So it's just going to click on, I'm just clicking it directly to the hose on my particular Dyson in the traditional Dyson click fit method and I'll just sweep it across the surface and see how well it cleans. So as you saw from those few examples, you can use the Dyson Carbon Fibre Soft Dusting Brush on a variety of hard surfaces. I made the mistake of using it on a fabric lampshade and all it did was deposit all the dust that had gathered on the brush onto the lampshade. But to be fair, it is designed really for hard surfaces only. To be honest, I wouldn't really wholeheartedly recommend this nozzle. You can see from the soft brush, a lot of the fibres and dust just gets stuck to it, doesn't get sucked in to the airstream of the vacuum cleaner. It's very soft and it would be okay to use on your more delicate surfaces, but personally, if you're looking for a dusting tool accessory for your Dyson, I wouldn't buy this one. I would go for the more traditional style. This nozzle has been around for many years. This is an exceptional nozzle, in my experience, for doing all your dusting. It dusts flat surfaces very well. It's soft enough to do your TV screens. You can do picture frames and things. Because of these brushes that splay outwards, it'll get underneath areas, like on the TV like that. And also, if you've got Venetian blinds or shutters, this, to me, in my experience, is the best tool for cleaning them. So if you've got a Dyson, 
you've got Venetian blinds, you really need this nozzle. So weighing them both up, this one or the newer carbon fibre one, personally, I would go for the older style dusting brush. Thanks to AO.com for supplying me this Dyson dusting tool in exchange for a written review on their website. You can see that if you go to AO.com. I've done a written review, but I said to them I'd make a video review as well. If you have any questions about this Dyson dusting tool, please ask in the comments section below. Please thumb up and please subscribe for more vacuum cleaner reviews. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.